It's happening. It's all happening. Look at all the giant cranberries behind me. We love to tell you what's in season and this month it is cranberries and apparently you like it too because it's a very popular segment right here on AMHQ. Parker Wallace shows us the ideal weather first to grow cranberries. Chances are the cranberries you're about to have on your Thanksgiving table came from these marshy bogs of Cape Cod. This is the heart of cranberry country. So Pat, you're a fourth generation cranberry grower. Yes, I am. This is the wet harvest. What do the conditions need to be like for optimum cranberry? For optimum cranberries, so the cranberries, they're going to grow in a sandy bed. And basically throughout the year, you know, we're going to need a good amount of rain, not excessive rain. Once they're ready to be picked, we're going to flood up a bog like this. It's normally a dry bog. We flood it up with a system of canals as well as pumps. So we flood that up, and once it's flooded, we'll be able to take this water reel harvester, drive it over the bog, and what it's going to do is it's going to release those cranberries from the vine. So these here are some great looking cranberries. They're ripe, they're red, and that's why we're out here today ready to pick. So this is what the bog looks like when it's not flooded. How did the summer weather actually affect the harvest this year? Yep, so um, not too bad as far as rain and climate, but the biggest thing that's affecting our crop this year is actually the hailstorm that we had. These small bruises here are what just a quick hailstorm can do to an entire crop of cranberries. You may even see some of this in your local supermarkets this year. Honest to goodness, you look just like somebody in one of those commercials with the cranberry drink commercials. Parker Wallace is here with us this morning with a few ideas. You can see the growing places that are most likely to grow them in the country, but a few ideas for the holiday to make Thanksgiving amazing with cranberries. Amazingly delicious. Okay. And I want to thank the Rhodes family for providing all the cranberries. They're stunning. Okay. I always make you a cocktail, I, so this know, is a cranberry I know it's early dream. for some of you, but remember, I've been up no. a long time, so I like this. And then, get cheers. imaginative. Cheers, darling. So this is bacon, cranberry oh, bacon okay. jam. What? Okay, seriously, I'm not kidding. So just try a little bit about this. You can put this on your turkey. Ooh, that's amazing. I hope you have that. Wait. You can put that on your turkey or on your sweet potatoes, cranberry bacon jam. Wait a minute. Wait, yeah. wait, wait just a minute. I'm a southern boy from way back, and on top of sweet potatoes, you would always put pecans and sugar. That changes everything. Maria, I'm not <laughs> kidding, come here. Change your sweet potato recipe now. Okay, so. That's fantastic. Cranberry salsa. Yeah. It's great for entertaining fresh cranberries with shrimp, love it. And then, why get bogged down with baking? I get it. <laughs> but um, bump. Mm -hmm. So this is a no-bake cranberry cheesecake, super easy. All you need is cream cheese, Cool Whip. What's in Season, brought to you by Idaho Potatoes. Always look for the grown-in-Idaho seal. 